approaching the closing stages of a capital murder trial in Baldwin County. Troy McDonald's already admitted raping and strangling 21-year-old Brianna Parrish of Daphne, all as part of a plea agreement. But a jury still has to render its verdict. Fox News reporter Hubert Tate has been in the courtroom since day one. It was day two of testimony in the capital murder case of Troy McDonald. And for a second day, prosecutors showed the jeans Brianna Parrish was wearing the night she was killed. The most emotional testimony came from Parrish's best friend, Kelly Robertson. In tears, Robertson told the court she and Parrish went to the Bay House pub hours before the 21-year-old went missing. Once they arrived there, Robertson went inside while Parrish went to talk to McDonald. Robertson says Parrish never set foot inside the bar. She tried calling her friend, but those calls went straight to voicemail. She would not see her friend again. Prosecutors also presented cell phone records today. Those were displayed to show that McDonald was near the area when Parrish was murdered. Reporting in Baymanet, Hubert Tate, Fox 2 News. The prosecution took the death penalty off the table in exchange for McDonald's guilty plea.